The following is brought to you by IFC's Monty Python, Almost the Truth, The Lawyer's Cut. In a bold move today, President Obama announced he will try to negotiate with the raging wildfire, which has so far burned over 14,000 acres in California. This morning, White House Deputy Press Secretary Brenda Inglet announced the president is confident he can convince the flames to stop incinerating everything in their path. The president plans to make the wildfire understand that our difficulties are shared difficulties, that it's not man against fire, but man and fire working out their differences. President Obama is already en route to Santa Barbara County, where he will be shuttled into the maw of the Inferno. Here to talk about what this means is Jason Copeland from Politico.com. Hi, Dan. Jason, this fire has burned over 300 homes so far. It's growing larger by the hour. What is Obama's strategy here? Well, look, here? you know, previous administrations have immediately resorted to putting wildfires out, but this is a different president, and he just didn't think that a combative approach with hoses and axes would be the best way to solve this crisis. But, Jason, so far the fire has refused to acknowledge any of the overtures the president has made. Yes. Obama sent a letter requesting it cease its destruction, and the fire apparently incinerated it without even reading that's it. true but I mean look wow. politically this is a stroke of genius I think I mean the most powerful man in the world is offering an olive branch to this petulant fire yes. and the fire looked pretty bad here childish even just uh, just burning it up like and, that and Obama is also going to present the fire with a gift a, a charred table leg from the White House yes. that was torched by the British in the war of 1812 that's exactly right uh, as the president said in a, in a recorded statement fire has a complex beautiful and at times destructive history but we would be remiss if we did not recognize its unique ability to create as well. Yes, and, and that must have been the idea behind all those photo ops with the various fires over the past few days while the wildfire was destroying I homes. I think it was, yeah. But Jason, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's meeting with yeah. the fire two days ago was considered a total failure. It, well, it certainly And then didn't there are a lot well. of conservatives who aren't convinced we should even be approaching the fire. Here's what Wendell Mack had to say on his syndicated radio show this morning. Obama puts fire first. You know, some people say, Wendell, you're crazy. It's not like he gets up in the morning and thinks, what can I do to help fire? Well, you know what, folks? I'm not so sure he doesn't. And what do you make of that, Jason? Well, well, look, I mean, you know, as Obama has said himself numerous times, if he wanted to, he could talk to the clouds and get them to unleash a great rainstorm upon the wildfire. Uh -huh. But uh, that's not this president. It's going to require all of the president's diplomacy skills to make the fire see that putting itself out is what's best for both parties. All right. Thank you, Jason Copeland. Thank you, Dan. Later in the hour, we'll look at the rumor sweeping the Internet that Obama himself is born a fire. Moving on, a new report finds extramarital affairs cause happiness in scientists. Coming to IFC, the world television premiere of an original six-part documentary. And now for something completely different. Monty Python, Almost the Truth, The Lawyer's Cut, the long-awaited definitive story told by the Pythons themselves. I am much taller and more handsome and more striking in general than they are because they're a chunky little bunch. Monty Python, Almost the Truth, The Lawyer's Cut. October 18th through the 23rd, only on IFC. Thank <laughs> you.